it's feedback gaming playing the Kaiserreich mod. So they've overhauled the naval combat, so that's something to look forward to. And they've added new focus trees and made some of the major powers really fun. Yay! Uh, so I decided we'll play as Panama. One of the new updates of the spot is there is now a new helmet. So they have introduced hat DLC for the Kaiserite mod. You've all asked for it and now here it is. We have some great choices of leaders here. We have Cowboy Man, General Man, and Cigarette Man. It's pretty obvious that we hire someone new if we had political power. Uh, it wouldn't be Kaiserreich if there wasn't more elections, more crisis, and banana exports. I can't but notice this one called, Our Economy is Expanding Nicely, and it has a picture of vertical expansion. My first thought when I saw this was inflation. Maybe I played too much EU4, I don't know. I will look through the focus stream. My first thing I was looking for is some way that we can take out Colombia or take out Costa Rica. And there doesn't appear to be any expansion possibilities in this focus tree. It's literally get rid of crisis, change your government, build factories. Anyway, we're gonna defend our homeland and to mass assault. Oh look, it's the one division trick. Let's exercise one dude to get a thousand combat experience, which is the equivalent of doing a blitzkrieg through France. Nice. Oh look, it's Kaiserite. Time for an early war. Oh look, it's Kaiserite. Electoral traffic jams in France. Oh look, it's a Black Monday for change. Now, it wouldn't be a Kaiserite video unless we talked about the national spirits that we have that suck. Oh look, we lose manpower. Oh look, we lose stability. Oh look, we lose stability in consumer goods. Now we start the excruciating process of making one infrastructure. It will be completed on the 13th of August, 1937. It wouldn't be a hard surviving game if I didn't research steel girders. Election time, boys! With economic recovery finally obtainable, the 936 elections may be the most important elections in Panama and the Iranian history. The two major parties are the National Liberals and led by that guy, and the National Revolution led by that guy. Viva la revolution! It doesn't look too good for our economy at the moment. We encourage farming and we encourage investments, and then more investments. <laughs> <laughs> then we recover. Oh. Is this an opportunity to expand? The Kotu region, the Kotu region of Costa Rica has been legitimately claimed by us for many years now. And many in the newly elected government feel now we may be the time to attempt to take it back. So after doing a little bit more research, I've spotted that this is it. Not this. This. This one mountain. It is legitimately a mountain! It's just one mountain! Alright, we'll move our dude over just in case. You know what I'd read right now? I would really like some army experience. Oh, let's go to theories and check what's that. Nothing. Nothing. You gotta love the attention to detail that Paradox gives their games. You go from a factory with lines going different ways. This is like a, a crossroads between factories. And then we get Hobbitville. Yeah, that's right. We become New Zealand. Hey, I've just spotted that we have a decision. Pressure the Costa Ricans. I have a funny feeling this is going to lead to war, so I probably should have an extra division. The US has threatened us. The United States has decided to threaten us and has ordered us to turn our troops back or to suffer the consequences. We are now forced to obey the order as our military forces do not stand a chance against the might of the USSA. I have a feeling I should have waited until the USA Civil War before I fired that. Our policy of foreign investments does not fit well with the national police, and they are likely to coop us. Should we step too far into that direction, we should find some way to pacify them as to avoid destabilization. We're going to be completely ballsy and go for leaving them alone. That will be the best choice. Okay, investment time, boys. Our options for investment are quite thin, since no one in Europe or Asia is particularly interest interested in us. Interested, interested in us. And the Southern America is dealing with their own issues. That leaves, at the very most point, two countries, Canada the United States. Canada. We now have glorious 10 width industry boys. Industry? Industry? Infantry? Infantry! 10 width infantry! And this is going to be our backbone of our army. Okay, the coup has happened. We are now led by uh, Cowboy Man. 
But like in between, uh, in between cuts, that I had a little cheeky look at the focuses, uh, the national spirits, and that one is called slight depression. Ah, <laughs> uh, that amused me. Okay. The United States is on a bit of a whoopsie, and we now have the canal in crisis. Since the outbreak of the Second American Civil War, the Panama Canal Zone has been weak and unguarded. We could seize it to protect trade along the canal and to appease the public, the whom opinion is largely against the existence of the Canal Zone. Let's do it. Okay. The joy of what we currently have got right now is we are paternal autocrats, so we can fabricate a 25% wall tension. So, this is an opportunity to grab some free land, boys. Free real estate. And we can train our glorious... Two divisions, making a total of three. Total amount of about 21,000 dudes. So glorious. I think this is why it threw me off, because look, Costa Rica has bankruptcy, which is uh, the same icon with the, the graph and the line. But then I have the exact same icon too here. <laughs> but apparently this is economic growth. Is it inflation or economic growth? We can't even tell anymore. We don't even know. Okay, 25% world tension. Time to take some Costa Rican. All right, boys, it's time to go. Let's do this. Yeah, they're guaranteed by Germany, but if I'm really quick, maybe I can just, maybe I could just sneak in. Ah, oh, nope. Nice try. And they're gone. Am I still at war with Germany though? Yep. Now I kind of hope now in the upcoming war that Germany loses. <laughs> Why stop now, eh? Why stop? We're on a roll. Let's do this. Let's keep going. Let's just keep going and going and going. Let's do this. Kind of demands that Panama join the Entente. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, so now we're going to make the most out of date ships possible that are the cheapest. So this is the Welt Krieg Destroyer Leader. Oh, wait, now we have the pre Welt Krieg Destroyer. 430, and it only costs two steel and one oil. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, boy. Now, I'm in a guess right now. Are they landing on the canal or my capital? Because this could go <laughs> really wrong. He instantly retreats! No! Okay, and now they've secured my capital. But they don't have a port. Just managed to push him back. Whew. First glorious ship is born. A pretty much obsolete boat that could not win any naval combat. But it exists. Oh. Very conveniently, they all decided to declare war on each other. That's perfect. Gentle stroll through the country. Not a care in the world. Okay, this is where things get slightly messy because we have a lot of uh, divided war score here. Oh, I get it all. <laughs> <laughs> Panama! You're beautiful. So we have reached 939, uh, conquering most of Central America, and uh, still don't have a single building slot. So we're still we're still building infrastructure in Panama. Anyway, that's pretty much me done for this. I just wanted to test out one of the new national focuses in the new release of Kaiserreich. Feel free to uh, download Kaiserreich. It is pretty much the best mod for Hearts of Iron 4, and it has been coming a lot better. Some of the little interfacey stuff in this game is absolutely sensational. I know a little attention to detail, like some of these little interfaces here for instance hang on it why is that chain i thought they had a new interface okay never mind anyway like subscribe uh if you want to support me on patreon because i get demonetized all the time feel free to do that um i do like to eat sometimes not just beans um that's the end of the show guys see, see you guys next time bye bye, bye, -bye.